everything in my being. Jesus is coming. Jesus, the Son of God, is coming. The decision has been made in heaven. The coming of the Lord is closer than you would ever believe. It's like a warning, you know, inside of my being saying, tell the church, tell the people of God. So this is not something to ignore and say, it cannot happen yet. No, 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 you're wrong. And I am not connecting it to any coronavirus out there. I'm not connecting it to what's happening with the world right now. I'm just telling you, if I know my name is Benny Hinn, I know Jesus is coming soon, and sooner than you would believe. Yesterday I had about 33 pastors, young pastors, upcoming. And one of them asked me, is this the end of the world? I said, no, it's not the end of the world. I said, it's the beginning of the system of Antichrist. Something is going to explode in the world. Suddenly, without any announcement being made about it, with events, I'm talking about weather changes. I'm talking about major global disasters, eruptions of new volcanoes that have been dormant, new pestilences from killer flies to new things we hadn't even prepared for. Now that's the world, the world is going to see this happen. Not the church. I want to I wanna keep emphasizing, not the church. We need to prepare for the coming of the Lord. This is the time to truly begin separating every second of every day. This is the time to really get to know our Lord. Get to know his heart. Get to know his love. It's time now to catch up with all the years we have we've missed you know as it says in Isaiah you know they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run run why to catch up why do we run we run to catch up with walking with God see sometimes our walking with God slows down so we have to run to catch up with the walk you know we have to catch up it's like the Lord is walking and we're walking, and then we're slowing down walking, and he's way ahead of us, and we're slowing down way back there. Now you got to run to catch up with him. It's time we do it now. You have got to understand this is the time we got to know Jesus in a way we've never known him before. We have to know our Heavenly Father. What is his heart like? What is God really like? I want to know this Almighty God in my life before Jesus comes. Do you know that God Almighty does not forgive sin. God does not forgive sin. He forgives the sinner. He forgives the sinner. But sin, he has to judge it. God doesn't forgive sin. Because he's too holy to forgive sin. He forgives the sinner. But sin, he hates it. I don't want to get to heaven and find out how much I have missed down here. I don't want to get to glory and say, oh, my wonderful Lord, I could have known you better on earth. I could have been closer to you. I, I could have walked closely and closer in fellowship with you. I could have loved you more. He's coming. Jesus is really, really, truly coming back to earth. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to ignore that and go on with, with, with your life like it's been wasting all that, all those precious hours with other people who don't really matter anymore? No, 
or are you going to give more time to the Son of God? You have to let go of your life and take his life now. Jesus is coming. Absolutely. Quickly and soon. Jason says, yes, help us all to have a closer walk with the Lord. Well, I don't know that I can help you. I can just talk to you. With your life like it's been wasting all that, all those precious hours with other people who don't really matter anymore? Or are you going to give more time to the Son of God? You have to let go of your life and take his life now. Jesus is coming, absolutely, quickly and soon. Jason says, yes, help us all to have a closer walk with the Lord. Well, I don't know that I can help you. I can just talk to you. It's something you can do for yourself. Just start walking with God. Start fellowshipping with the Lord. Get back into your Bible. Don't let the Bible, you know, be neglected. Read the Word of God every day, more than you've ever read the Bible in your life. Talk to Jesus way more than you've ever talked in your life with Him. 